Hello, my name is Chiz, my pronouns are they, them, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing something fun, which is recreating some Pinterest fall outfits. I'm gonna try my best to be super accurate with the stuff that I have in my closet already, and hopefully it will serve as some fall outfit inspo. It definitely did for me, so hopefully it helps you too. And at the very least, I hope that you enjoy the video. Starting off strong, first we have this outfit. I honestly really like this one. I feel like it's pretty accurate. And the skirt that I'm wearing, I recently thrifted it, like after I had the idea for this video. So it was a pretty lucky find. And I actually think it's a dress and I'm just wearing it as a skirt, but the brand is She's Cool. I love it. It's so flowy and fun and pretty and it matches my hair at the moment. The shirt I actually stole from my dad and it has a little bleach stain and it has its um, quirks, but I really love it and I wear it inside out because on the front it says hustle and I kind of don't like that. So I just wear it inside out. I do have a shirt that's like closer to the color in the Pinterest photo, but uh, it, that shirt fits me awkwardly and this shirt just looked better. So I decided to go for the green. I got my cardigan on Depop, it's Urban Outfitters, and I just hold it together with a safety pin. And my shoes are vintage Doc Martens that I got on Mercari. I also wish I wore black socks, but oh well. The jewelry I'm wearing is my everyday jewelry. I always wear these earrings every day and this necklace, and I will be wearing it for most of the video, so yeah. Also the ring, uh, the ring. Next up, we have probably my favorite one, which is this one. Oh my goodness. I saw this outfit on my Pinterest and I had to recreate it because I had a jacket, the exact same color. I had this hat. I had these blue headphones. I had pink hair and like the original like hat is blue and pink. So I feel like that ties it all together. And then the style of the hat and oh my God. That Pinterest photo is actually what inspired me to make these pants. And if you want to see how I made these pants, I made them in my last video. So check it out after this one. But anyway, the blue denim like jeans are originally from Walmart. Um, these headphones, I don't know where they're from and I don't even know if they work. They are literally just for fancy and they're blue. So it like adds color. The jacket is thrifted. Also, the jacket has a really cool like quilt thing at the hoodie. The pink top is from Tunnel Vision. And my belt is from the little boy section at Walmart. And I paired this outfit with my new rocks. Okay, next up we got this outfit. And so far, like none of these outfits have been particularly uncomfortable. But this outfit is so comfortable. I don't know how to explain it. The undershirt I have on is so warm. The skirt fabric is so good. And these shoes are my good shoes because I have flat feet. And I have to wear insoles and I just put my insoles in these shoes and just I'm just so comfortable right now I can't explain it. I do feel a bit like it is overwhelmingly red at the bottom. Um, I thought that this long sleeve shirt had more red stripes on it as I feel like that would have like balanced it out a little bit because in the original like Pinterest photo the long sleeve shirt has colors from the skirt so it kind of balances out the top and bottom but I still would wear this outfit with some minor changes. I think I would mainly change this shirt to something that had a little bit of red on it. But anyways, for my accessories, I am wearing the wrist cuff from Goodwill with the two skulls on it. And the one on the right that has one skull on it is from a street vendor. The hat is from me. I made it. The shirt is actually band merch from a band called Toner. They opened for Otobuki Bibar when I got to see them in San Francisco, so be jealous of me. And then the shoes are, of course, Converse. All right, the next outfit is this one, and I would say that this is the one I was most likely to put together on my own. I think I've worn like this exact outfit, but with a different flannel. By the way, I love this flannel very much. Uh, one of my favorite thrift finds. And the tank top, I think was also my dad's or my brother's. And I safety pinned it at the back and also tied it. And also spray painted the three stars at the front. And now it's my tank top. And these are my patch pants. Um, I haven't put anything on them in a long time and the back is very bare. I would love to change that. So any patch suggestions are welcome. I do have a pair of Crocs, but they are not black and they might not go with this outfit. 
so I decided to go with my super dirty dog. Also, dance battle me, I dare you. I also put on two additional necklaces. The skull one is from Tunnel Vision and the cross one is from my dad. And last but not the least, we have this outfit. I think that this outfit is super cute. Normally, I would be inclined to wear this outfit with black shoes, but I think that the brown shoes look super cute. Here, I am wearing this skirt that I made out of a pair of pants, and I made this skirt in my last video, so go check it out. Wink, wink. It's so cute. I love it so much. I never wore the pants. I've already worn the skirt more than I ever wore those pants, so I'm so glad I did it. I crocheted this tie. It was actually one of the first things I made after I picked up crocheting again as an adult. The shirt is the same shirt from that one band called Toner. I feel like you've seen everything else before in this video. The cardigan, the vintage docks, and yeah, that's really all there is to the outfit. I personally think it's pretty accurate and I would wear it again. Alright, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, make sure to comment your favorite one down below. My favorite one is number two, I think. I am still riding off the high of seeing the garden last night, so I'm having a great day. So I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.